What's up guys? Today is day three of the Boosted Boys versus Team McFarlane golf cart build off and uh, we're making some pretty good progress here. So Emilio got the chain on this morning. Yeah, so he just used the bike chain we got with the bike and it was the same, the ATV sprocket that we got is the same as the sprocket on the motorcycle. So we just cut it to length. Uh, we loosened this stuff up and just kind of because you can rotate it here. Yeah, it's like cammed inside there. And then you yeah. can see these notches. You can put like a spanner wrench on this and turn this whole thing. And then the whole axle actually kind of adjusts in there. So right now it's all the way forward. Yeah, and we just got to push it back to tighten it up. But I think it's going to work good. Yeah, got the master link on there. It's in neutral right now. Ready to go. Yeah, we figured out how the gear works, uh, which way they shift to go through the gears. And we got it clicked into neutral. So I'm uh, going to give her a spin real quick. Spinning nice. We are going to have to notch the swing arm a little bit more because it is very close, but that is not uh, too big of a deal. We do have clearance. We could probably run it like that, but just to be safe, we're going to notch that some more. And then Brent is over here working on the brake right now. It's kind of a part, but we're uh, making a little bracket to come off this, and we are going to be reusing the factory golf cart brake lever. And then this is the piece that came off of the bike and we're just kind of reusing that yeah, guy making it work yeah because it just so happens that good that owner, so. fits onto this yeah this was off of, we ran to the junkyard got this off a of civic oh actually yeah okay i didn't even know it's i thought that was clutch. the one that's this clutch it is huh bracket. yeah i thought that was the one that came with the bike <laughs> no we were using that at first and then and it, you switched yeah. it and well, i switched it there you go we had to throw something honda on there <laughs> we had to <laughs> So yeah, Brent's been messing with that and it's just about ready to go. We just have to get this fully welded out over here and then he drilled like a hole up through there to kind of mount it. Yep. And then it looks like it has plenty of yeah. throw. It's gonna work good. And then we have to get a brake line made from to the, run yep. from there to the caliper that we don't have figured out yet because we were trying to find a caliper for this exact rear axle, which is off like a 450 cc ATV, but no one has it in stock. So tomorrow, we might have to rig something up. Tomorrow, we're actually, I found a guy that has one for a 250, and I think they're supposed to be the same. So he said at eight o'clock in the morning, they opened up. So I'm gonna go over there and see if it is the same one. And if so, all we have to do is run the line and it would just be bolt on, which will save us a lot of time. Yeah, that's so what I'm we're really hoping, hoping it works. For. But if not, we got the one that came with the bike, plus we got another one that we got from Cody back over there that it's off of another bike that we could I probably adapt. make work yeah yeah so Worst case we'll have to make it work so yeah so we'll see about the brakes stop. and then that's all going on and then right now i'm going to get started on making a uh shift assembly uh, so we can actually shift this thing jamie is out getting supplies right now we picked up some little heim joints and uh i'm going to start fabbing some stuff up and then i'll explain what we got going on once i can kind of visualize it a little better all right so right now we're gonna See where we want to mount the shifter. No seat on just yet, but you know, kind of general idea. Somewhere like that. We're getting ready to drill a hole through the floor so we can make our shift linkage underneath. I mean, I'm thinking just sit back a little more because you know, I don't want to sit on the engine too much. Yeah, I just don't want to sit on the throttle cable. Yeah. Okay, sit in the middle on the throttle body. Oh, yeah. Right here. I'm good, right? right yeah, it moved. I don't too much. Yeah. I mean, that would feel pretty good right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good too. So, probably just as close over this way as we can, you know? Get yeah. Room for someone else to sit in it if we bought two people. Yep. Play around with. So, I say just it's right there. There's nothing else under this, I don't nope. think. Nope. It's just sheet metal. Just drill right through it. So, Jamie's just went and got this stuff for our shift linkage. We got some all thread right here with our Heim joints, and then we got this sleeve to. Uh, put over that just to strengthen it up, even though it probably doesn't need it. Just it's still that. pretty flimsy, it feels like. That's plenty yeah, strong. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. pretty strong, pretty yeah. But just to be sure, we'll throw this little sleeve over it, and then we know that it's yeah. good. So, yeah. All right, and then a handle for the shifter. Actually. Okay, yep. And so your grip fits right over that. Yeah, I want to grab that real quick. So we brought my scooter with us down to Florida, and I have uh, these, like, lock-on grips, and anyone that, like, BMXs or scooters, you guys know that these suck because they're like really hard right here and the other one I had on my scooter was broken anyways so I need to get like a new set of grips for my scooter. Um, so I took this one off my bars and we're actually going to just use this on our uh, shift handle so we'll have a grip to grab onto and then this tubing is also going to be the same size as like the street bike tubing so if we get a complete clutch lever assembly with the cable uh, that should clamp perfectly on right here. So I was thinking we'd put my grip on 
off the scooter there, and then we put a uh, clutch handle off a street bike right under it, and then you know we have the handle coming off like a normal bike bar would be, but we have it up and down. So then all you got to do is just pull in the clutch on the handle, and then slowly let it out, and then every other year you're just banging you're just it banging anyway. anyway. So yep. We can have the clutch on the handle, so it's just fast and start ripping. So we're gonna go ahead and get to work on this shift assembly real quick. Brent just got this pilot hole drilled. We're ready to go under there. And we're gonna drill two holes with this hole saw. We're gonna go one here where his hole was, and then we're gonna go one slightly behind it and then just uh, connect them together with a flap wheel so we have a little bit of an oval for the movement of the arm so it's not hitting on nothing. And the movement of the shift lever there. So we'll go ahead and drill that out and get going. Good? Yep. One right behind it. There you go. It's got a. Oh, I nicked a little cable right there. That's not anything important, is it? That's just no. It's, okay. it's an old wire to the go right. golf cart. That so doesn't matter. Just clean that up, and we're ready. Otherwise, I'd have warned you. <laughs> I think that's just the wires from the old key. It looks like just like that. And just ba 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 ring. <laughs> Sick. She ready? That thing sounds well, we crazy. That. That sounds so <laughs> All right, so we're making pretty good progress on our shift assembly. Uh, right now we just have these vice grips on this bar right here just to kind of simulate the lever that's gonna be going up. Uh, that's actually right here. We have uh, this piece of tubing that we cut in half and then that is going to saddle onto the top of this. And we're gonna make that removable so that we can later like service this guy right here. Uh, there was one issue with uh, putting all this together is I thought we'd still be able to take this tube out if we made that removable, but obviously we can't because we just welded these tabs right here solid. So the tube's just kind of gonna stay in there uh, forever unless we had to like cut it out one day and redo it. But for right now, that's just how it's going to be. But it is kind of a pain to put this bolt in uh, up in that space. So we're gonna make that removable so we can swing this uh, down to you know service it. But if we uh, move these vice grips right there, we have this rod that goes all the way to our shifter right there with two heim joints. Then we added this piece in the middle and then tightened it to just strengthen up the uh, all thread right there. And then you can see when I pull on this, we click it into gear, so that's first. And then we can go like back to neutral. Oh, right here. So that's first, one click, half click to neutral. And then all the other gears are there, so. It should work good. So the reason we had to put this tab on top is because if it was on bottom, then the shifter in the cart would be forward to the next gear, which would work fine. But uh, I think pulling is much easier because cool. especially when you're especially launching, when you jump from your MR2 to this, it'll be like normal. Oh yeah, that too. I don't yeah. want to mix those up. Right. You but another thing is like when you're getting thrown back in your seat, yeah. it's a lot easier to pull back to the next gear instead of trying to extend your arm to reach forward. Yeah. Yep. The next. Sure. It's just way more comfortable to pull back. So that's why this is on top. It's just tucked up under there. But uh, yeah, once we get this part attached to the shaft right here, then the shifter will be pretty much done. Then we're thinking about just putting some like hose clamps in between here and here just to keep this bar from moving side to side. But it spins pretty freely. We might grease these up some, but you know, just for a uh, fast, quick shift linkage, that will do it. So we'll be good to go just like that. It is. Now that engine is solid. Oh yeah. Super solid. Not going anywhere now. now. Tighten down the sprocket yep. without breaking anything. Uh huh. Dude, and look at the swing arm. So we jacked up the swing arm to make room so I could weld these tabs. 
But like, look how much travel it has. It has quite a bit if we want to add the suspension later on. The only thing is it comes back far enough to dig into the plastic, but we could always... We can get rid of this plastic. We yeah, we could always it. cut that out one day, you know, if we want to baja it out, take some sick jumps. Look, it has a lot of travel. Yeah, we just got this uh, back mount made right here. So we're done with the uh, engine mounts. It's nice and solid now. Uh, Emilio went and found a new header because our other one was all dinged up. Found this one. He also found a clutch lever and cable. Yeah, and all this. So we got all the clutch stuff here. Yep, so we're just gonna be able to put this handle on our uh, uh, clutch lever up there. You can see it sticking out all tall because we still need to cut it. Um, we did find out something with it though. Um, we are going to have to put the tabs on the bottom, unfortunately, because with those little tabs on top, there's just not enough throw uh, to click it into gear. We have to move that top lever so much to get it to go into gear. So we are actually going to put a long tab underneath. So we are going to have to push forward to shift into the next gear. So we still have a whole bunch of time to reinvent it. We can definitely change it up later, but for now um, we need it to go forward because right now there's just way too much throw to get it into gear going back. So we're just gonna add a big tab right here on the bottom and call it good and then that's done. So we don't have to take all this apart and stuff and that will be done and quick because we're running out of time. So we're just trying to get as much done as we can. But yeah, we're getting closer. Oh yeah, dog. Yeah, that's it. It was. It needed to be that long. It could actually probably use one more inch to be perfect. Could always bend that rod too. I said it could have used one more inch to be perfect. How does it look from up there? We'll just, we'll just Shift it. it. Look how close it is. Look at. Yeah. It's like perfect. It's so close. One more inch would have been good. We just cut some of that plastic off. I'm glad we just made some real fast, like we just said, long. Yeah, I mean, if we have time, we might be able to redo that real quick, but we also don't want to, like, you know, mess it up. Yeah. But see, that's what I'm scared about. Like, I don't want to drive this and then go to my MR2. And go backwards? And learn it like this. Yeah, yeah. No, that's going to be think. sketch. I mean, I think I can remember, I honestly. Can, how you can ride the backwards bike, so. Oh, that engine's solid. Yeah, it's night and day. So, yeah, so that, so first would be, that's, so that would be second. Second. That's first. Yeah, that's gonna be. Triangle, triangle first, real quick. Oh, he's in. That's first. Okay, now we'll go forward. So it's forward. Yeah. So it's like the speed factory car. I mean, it looks like it's yeah. moving a lot like of speed factory stuff. So we should go seven. Yeah, we need to we need to cut it like here. So then it just be like this. Well, we'll just we gotta put the seat up and see where it's gonna be. Oh, there it is. We got a sequential. Up here. One small step for man. Sequential golf cart. Sequential golf cart. Work. Look oh, it's fine. Yeah, look, because it's past the pant. Yeah. The other one got all Crushed. mangled up. Hey. Yeah, it is way. Yeah, but that's good. Because no, we before we now had. We, now should, we can just. Well, cut this it is back down here. too, though. Now we can cut it back cut here. It. Make an is this down or is that where it needs to be? All right, guys, we're calling it for today on the golf cart build-off. Uh, Cletus is having uh, some stuff going on at his place, so we're actually getting ready to head down there because he invited us to go hang out for the rest of the day. Um, we did not have nearly as much time to work on this thing as we have the last two days. Uh, if this was a normal day like the last two days have been, we'd have another six hours early working right on it. Yeah. yeah. So we could definitely get a lot more done today. You know, in just a couple hours, I feel like we could have this thing back on the ground and pro possibly starting up and shifting through the gears and moving under its own power because we have everything here that we need. But uh, we are gonna call it for tonight just due to time and what else we got going on and stuff like that. Uh, but we did get the uh, shifter figured out, so that's ready to go. Just gotta get that knocked out. We need to still get a radiator, which should not be uh, too hard at all just hook two hoses to one that we already have just got to get it mounted finish up some welding our axles mounted we found a new exhaust that fits really good and yeah, there's awesome. still some little things that need to get done but she is very close so yeah really excited shifter needs to be cut down because it's tall as hell but <laughs> yep
that's where she's at for right now. So sorry this video wasn't as long. We didn't get as much done because we're just on a time frame right now. And we stayed up so late night. last night yeah. to yeah. get it to where it is I'm, now. I'm happy with where we're at. I feel like it's going to be a long night tonight too. Yeah. At his friend's giving. Yeah, we still have a whole bunch to, we might get into to do tonight. tonight so. too. Who knows? Yep. Who knows what the night holds, but we're calling it for tonight on this. And we're going to go head over to Cletus's place. Perfect. Let's, Let's roll. do it. So we went over to Cletus's last night, hung out. It was awesome. He gave us rides in side by sides. They built a freaking like track in his backyard. We were jumping them and it was awesome. Didn't film too much of it though, because it was really dark out and we just went to hang out, have a good time. We were sketchy Bert and a whole bunch of friends. Uh, but yeah, we stayed over at his place last night. Uh, got up this morning, came back over to his shop and I'm wrapping up this video for you guys that you are watching right now. And this next coming video, I think is going to be a good one. We are. Uh, really close to getting the golf cart up and going so once i wrap this up i'm gonna be heading right back over there to help them out get that thing together and uh get going so be sure to stay tuned for this next coming video and then i also double checked with cletus that it was cool if i uh show his golf cart starting up in this video because you guys can see his is running as well they are getting uh, closer and closer on his build um and he hasn't released that video yet but he said that was cool so i'm just gonna throw all that into this video and this next one should be a good one so stay tuned we'll see you guys uh, today, I guess.